You're watching an instructional video by Tremart regarding the process of how to put on our lizard harness and leash. Now before doing so, I'd like to show you the three different sizes that we have available and what animals we recommend for them. We have the small, we have the medium, and the large. Now the small is designed for leopard geckos, small bearded dragons, as well as baby tegus and monitors. We have the medium, which is designed for medium bearded dragons, as well as agamas, and any other lizard that gets under 12 inches in length. And then we also have the large, which is for full grown bearded dragons and other similar lizards. Uh, now I'd like to set these two to the side and we'll begin w by showing you with the medium size harness. Now on the back side, it shows you a parts list of everything you'll be receiving as well as the step-by-step -step process that I'll be going through that you can reference. Now let's open up the packet. Now inside we have our harness and we have our leash. Now I'll put the leash to the side for the moment and begin. We begin by taking the tail end of the harness and putting it through its split ring like so. You'll want to make sure that the material does not twist as you put this around your lizard's neck. We brought our model Rusty to show you how this is done. Now we begin by putting that loop around your lizard's neck. The direction in which the leather is exiting the split ring, we then go underneath the arm, across the chest, over the other arm, and we go back through the split ring, like so. Once it's through, you then pull so it's firm but not too tight around your lizard's neck and chest. And we want to make sure the material is directly underneath your lizard's arms. And you may want to have help as you do this process. Now once it's at the firmness you like, you hold it in place and you perform what's called a half hitch knot, where you do a secondary loop that goes through the split ring. You then pull tight and this cinches it in place. So no matter how hard I pull, it won't, will, no, will not become more tight, but it can be adjusted and become more loose as your lizard grows. You then get the snap end of your leash and clip it through the eyelet of the harness. And that is it. And then you are able to clip on your alligator clip onto an article of clothing. Uh, so that if your bearded dragon jumps off, he'll catch himself and you'll be able to put him right back on your shoulder. And that's the process. The benefit of using the lizard harness is it aids in the imprinting process. It helps tame your lizard. And it makes it so that you can perform other functions without having to hold your lizard and worry about him injure himself. Uh, and it's a great way of showing off your favorite reptile. 